Hey guys, so today we get a look at the price point. So it is not $6.99 like it is online, which makes sense because the online Magic Online cards are not redeemable. But it is $16.99 on Amazon, $35.99 for a free pack, or yeah, a free pack on Amazon, and $29.99 for a booster box. So I think that's going to be the highest price ever. Amazon guarantees this price. It's Amazon Prime. I'm fairly certain that Wizard of Coast is the direct seller. And that makes sense because, you know, I sell a lot on Amazon and they take 20%. They take 20% plus storage plus another shipping fee. So you're looking at anywhere between 20 to 30%. And very few people have that type of margin just to give Amazon. It's actually much more expensive than TCG Player to sell a card or to sell a pack. That, that's why Wizard of the Coast, for the most part, is the only person on Amazon because you can't really compete with Wizard of the Coast for a new set. That being said, $16.99 a pack is less money than I expected. Typical retail for a pack of Masters or it, on Amazon is about $20.99. Now, yes, you do have some discounts. And the typical retail on a collector's pack is also around $17. So this costs almost the same as a collector's pack of Ikoria, Throne of the Eldran. It's around that mark. Now, the only product that we haven't seen is the VIP product. If I had to take a guess what VIP means, I, you know, when you were, do, I was collecting baseball cards and football cards, it, they would have something called a master set. And they still have that in that hobby today. It's one of every card. I think that's what VIP set should be. It should be no randomness, just one of every card. And then you would get like different box toppers. So like, even though you're getting one of every card, you would still get the foiled or non-foiled extended art. There's still the opportunity to have some variance. And that's how football, baseball, basketball does it today is that there is some variance. Uh, for $299.99, I'm glad that they went on Amazon to set the price. And it's a guaranteed price and it's Amazon backed and there's no mystery about this. It's never really going to go higher than this price because, again, you can buy from Amazon. And I assume it's Wizard of the Coast directly because there's Prime and it doesn't show who it's being sent from. Similar to Wizard of the Coast selling its other products. It's a good price. Um, it's a good price. Um, a lot of you ask, oh, you know, you haven't seen all of it. How do you know? But it's really easy for me to know. Like, it's really easy for me to know whether a set will be good or not. You look at some of the most valuable cards and you say, how valuable is this card? Mana Vault, for instance, you look at it and say, you know what? This is a very good card. Then the extended art with the new artwork, Mana Vault, which I'm enjoying more as I take a look at it. It's lots of details. I'm sure it's better in hand. You look at the expected EV, and then you also look at the chase card. So if you can pull a card like Mana Vault from a blister pack at Walmart, for instance, and this this is stocked in Walmart, I've confirmed, this will be in Walmart, which means it probably will be in Target, Walgreens, and so on, and it's the same price point, so it makes sense. It's not like more expensive, right? Which might have a difficult uh, stocking issue at that point in time. But back to uh, when I look at the, I asked myself, what is the best possible outcome from this blister pack? And if it's a Mana Vault ex extended alternative art foil, then you have your answer right there. People like gambling, but they like to be rewarded for gambling. And there's two types of rewards. There's the, oh, did I make back the pack? And there's the, you know, hit the lottery card. That's why the masterpieces... That's why the inventions, that's why the expeditions, they were so high. I mean, people were opening cases to get a crack at a few of them. But this is more reasonable because it's actually a mythic in the set instead of a mythic of mythics. Hi, guys.